Yo peeps! Hello, hello, welcome to the 13th episode. Was it 15th? I think it was the 13th episode of um, Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Horseman. Indeed. Well, we approaching the town of Redcliffe, but first I'm gonna switch back to Morrigan because I just I just like her more than than Win like. Can't do nothing about that. I just really love Morrigan. I'm sorry, guys. It's 3 a.m. here. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's as I said, it's really late right now, but I'm recording this because I love you guys and I want to provide you know you with the best content uh, I can. This point being a poor bastard. Um, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead, and those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Okie dokie. Let's go. Damn, my armor is cool. Such a cool armor. Oh, hello, Tegan. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Your nephew? I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother. Make her rest her soul. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Hey, some call them walking dead, others call them walkers or biters or... You want my help? You don't know me. I know Alistair and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? First I have questions. By all means. Isn't there a way into the castle to get at the source? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? 
Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. Okay, that seems fair. Uh, why don't you just evacuate the village? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. What happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. Okay. Uh, I've heard enough. Then you will help us? Very well, I will help. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you, thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. Who are some of our Eamon's knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Their search for the end of sacred ashes. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Mm -hmm. Why are you in the chant with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Why not look cowardly? I'm not here for glory. I would prefer being outside, but Perth has a point. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. What exactly are these things that attack the village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. So what happens after this battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. There had better be a road after all this. Eamon would be in a better position to reward you, to be honest. I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Oh no, Morgan doesn't like me. Oh no! Why? Why are you being so... Not very... Nice. Let Hello. Pray. You are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Is there a reason I shouldn't help? Many elves claim we wouldn't do the same in return. I would like to think that is not true, but I cannot speak for all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Just how safe is the Chantry? It is the sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly and children will stay here during the battle, while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. I would like your blessing, Mother. You would? That is, I mean, of course. I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. 
Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Sure, why not? I mean, like, one hurt. Yes. Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of the Earl of Redcliffe. Redcliffe? I wonder how the name came to be. Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red, and often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent, unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Well, here I am. What does someone like you been be doing Lotharing's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. What did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay. I should probably talk to you, you know, in our camp. I'm scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. I want to go home. When will this be over? Good day. And hello. These are terrible times. Just terrible. I'm so scared, father. The blight comes again, and Ferelden is doomed. What are we to do? I'm too old to fight. It's frustrating to stand in here and watch the young take up huh? arms. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Who are you? My, my name's Caitlin, my lord. Uh, pardon my manners, but... You're an elf, aren't you? I mean, that is what you are, right? Yes, I am. You're very handsome. I, I never would have... I mean, I didn't expect... <laughs> never mind. Are you going to help us? Everyone says we're going to die tonight. Yes, I'll do my best. I can't even sleep. I close my eyes and I see my mother being carried off. What have we done that the Maker allows this to continue? Is there anything I can do? It's my brother Bevin. He ran off, maybe tried to leave the village. I'm so scared those things got him. Where would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Who tried looking for your brother? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will? Thank you so much. Please find him. Huh. Okay. Hello. I wish you know, Owen don't really like the men forge. He's our only host. Just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know. I don't want to think about that. I guess. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. 
I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. You heard wrong. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. You can call me Warp. Fair enough. What can I do for you? What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Nobody else can do the repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Mm, I don't know. Probably not much. Good. Lux me. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this on the blacksmith? I need to speak to him. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. I prefer not to speak for a door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. We need to talk about the repairs for the militia. That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. I need some smithing done. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. Either open the door or I'll break it down. I am. Uh, Alright, just don't destroy anything, damn you. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So? I open the door. I've got nothing of value for you. The militia's taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. The militia needs your help desperately. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena. She's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you tend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. And what if she's dead? It would be better than going to my grave. Wonderful. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. What's stopping me from lying to you? Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Last time I checked. Then I'll take what I can get. 
and leave the rest to the Maker's Grace. I promise you, I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay. Morgan clearly hates me now. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Nice to see you have, a, have some purpose. I've you to thank for that, stranger. Just do what you've promised, and it will have been worthwhile. I should go. Find my Valena. That's all I want. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there, but it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Okay. Okay, there is some stuff that might be useful. Leather gloves. Let's give our dear, um, dear Morrigan uh, leather gloves. Because why not? I should probably use them. Borrowed long suit. My gosh! Duncan's sword is actually pretty good. Okay, what 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 else was I supposed to do? All oh, right. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. How is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really, but were we ever? Is there anything else? I still need to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Yep. That would be nice, actually. Hmm. To the north, you say. So, I'm somewhere around here, right? Here? Oh, there's a tavern. Okay, let, 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 let's go. Let's go inside and see who's here. Oh, hello. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Shouldn't you be at a chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the chantry. Are you fighting? Yes, I am. That's good to hear. 
I didn't know that. So how has business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... You don't care for Lloyd, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. You could leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? How about not end up at another tavern? Well, I can't promise that, but thank you. I don't really know what to say. What do you know about, about the elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... Crash go. Keep safe. Not looking for company. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Why? I don't live here. Then what are you doing here? Just waiting until I can leave again. I hear you're very weak. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? You seem awfully nervous. Why is that? I... No reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. You said you were waiting for your brother. My what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. You didn't try to leave? Uh, no. Those who tried are dead. And, um, I, uh, have to wait for my brother. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean... Just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And who's going to stop me? I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I Who swear. are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Hello again, sweetie. Nice to see you're still safe. I should go. Keep safe. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war. And the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Who are you, anyway? Name's Lloyd. We don't get many elves out here. You're a runaway from the city. A runaway? I couldn't just be a traveller. No, I suppose you could. Never thought about it, really. Something else I can get for you? Answer a few questions. Fine. Make them quick. Shouldn't you be helping defending the village? Why? 
and then creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Are they fighting the militia or they now? Your choice. But Van Tegen said we didn't have to. He said, he said, ah, fine, fine, I'll go. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted, bloody. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time you did something to help out. I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? I need some supplies. Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. Actually, I want to sell you something. Um... Oh, you don't want to buy this. What do you want to buy then? You want to buy anything? Nah, I guess you don't. Oh. Hey, okay, I think that will be enough. Thank you. Then the thing hit. It leapt right on him, started chewing his face. He started screaming, trying to push it off him. And I, I couldn't. Wow, that help. sounds traumatizing. Okay, uh, so there was no Sir Perf here. But at least we did something for the nice ginger haired lady. And we got the fat owner of the tavern to actually do something good for the society. So I guess that's good. Um. You are very beautiful, Morrigan. <laughs> Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose. A little tear here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier. Better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet. Yes. With gold embroidery. It should be cut low in the front, of course. You don't want to hide your features. Stop looking at my breasts like that. It is most disturbing. You don't think so? And if it's cut low in the front, we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely neck. You are insane. I would sooner let Alistair dress me. It'll be fun, I promise. We'll get some shoes too. <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. I love this conversation. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Call me Grey Warder, for, for that's what I am. Grey Warden it is, then. And thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is there is anything lost. I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things Is considered. there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid. I have some questions for you. Ask me what Where can I get supplies? With. I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. 
It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. What about the Do tavern? Ugh, a fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you. Though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He was a profiteer and nothing more. You mentioned something about an earl. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tavinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just what was the art sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did uh, the Alessa believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Or just something else. As you wish. What is your status? Although we are far better equipped than Murdoch and his villagers, we knights are too few. Things will be grim after sundown. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain. But we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make okay, so we can st uh, start defending Redcliffe here with Sir Perf, but first we have uh, this quest about finding it the kiddo. Um, so before we start defending Redcliffe, let's at least try to find the lost kiddo. But that will happen in the next episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching you guys, um, thank you for supporting me, um, if you want to support me more, like and subscribe, um, no, fo follow my channel, etc. Also you can give me some money on Patreon if you have uh, enough money. And yeah, I think that that's it. Thank you for being here and see you next episode and you know... Bye-bye!